right, so, so this is fresh salmon clay which we're going to be using from here uh, moving forward for the line. If we have large events and stuff, what have you, we will get frozen three portion, uh, eight ounce fillets like we have in the past, but I really want to start utilizing fresh fish so the customer can be appreciative and we can be proud of what we do. All right, so first things first, um, it's always going to come like this. If not, it'll come whole. So I'm pretty sure most of you have seen before, um, they do Hamachi Kama at sushi restaurants. And it's the, basically Kama is the collar or the shoulder of the fish itself. And you want to follow this line. But you don't want to do it uh, skin side up. You always want to do it skin side down. Kind of like how it's easier to do a bell pepper cut uh, with the skin side down versus the opposite. So you just want to take it, you cut it right along there. Um, you have a uh, salmon shoulder. And this could be for family meal, staff meal, ship meal, whatever you want. Please utilize this because it is very delicious and nice and fatty. And this is considered to be the tenderloin of the salmon, or any fish for that matter. So, second step, see this belly? You're going to want to clear that off. have that and this can be saved to make stock or if you want to cut it it's nice and fatty belly it's really delicious it's rich if you're a salmon fan cook this down or just cook it sear it off take the skin off easy peasy okay so and now right here uh, in sushi terms or Japanese terms this is going to be called the ingawa which is the top part of the loin um, this part right here where the main fin is at uh, you're going to want to trim that off You always want to feel right here and right here. Just slowly drag your hands across it with any excess pin bones that might be in there. And as of right now, don't feel any. I feel a little bit of cartilage, but that's fine. We'll take care of that as we start breaking down the fish. So, breaking down the fish, we want eight ounce portions, so we're going to do that so. So, first thing, you want to cut the tail off because it's a tapered piece and it's always going to be subject to uh, being always forgotten but it's also one of the most resilient pieces when it comes to cooking. Take it and weigh it. 7.6 ounces, so we're roughly there. So, after that, I'll take the salmon, just slide your hand underneath it so you get like a level, straight and arrow, if you will. Um, playing field when it comes to filleting it. And right here is where the bloodline is at, or was the bloodline for the fish. And you just want to cut it right down the middle. And this will eliminate the fish fillet itself from breaking down when, you, uh, when you're sauteing it. Which is huge um, when it comes to uh, speed, uh, with, uh, speed with plating, uh, high volume knives, etc, etc. So we'll put the belly away, and then we'll have the top point. So roughly about your hand, that's about six ounces and we want to get an eight ounce cut. So I'm going to go right there, straight. We keep the skin on, the skin will come off after it's been cooked. What you do is when you have your salmon down like this in your pan, you just take the skin, it just peels right off like a band-aid. Okay, 9.5 ounces, that's a little large. So we will trim some of the ingawa down. This is that top loin. there. So we'll just start stacking them like this. And as the, the loin will get smaller and smaller, so you will have to make a little bit larger cuts than you would anticipate. 8.1. Perfect. And then smaller, so I would go about five fingers worth. Beautiful. And then when you get down to the last piece uh, where the tail would be starting, I weigh that out. I have 13.4 ounces. So we're going to have a little small chub, but we can double up on that if somebody has a salad. Eight ounce, 8.3 ounces, done. And then when it comes to the belly, um, the density is a little bit uh, higher because of the fat content in the belly. So 
you're going to compensate that, but you might think you're getting big pieces, but you're really, it look, it's flat and wide, but it's way out what you want, 8.4. One side of salmon. 